Let's now take a look at some of the other areas where NextThing integrates directly with your ServiceNow application. Firstly, CMDB. Now, both Rod and I, uh, our backgrounds are in IT service management, including time at ServiceNow. One of the things that uh, I always used to see in my 20 plus years in IT is the CMDB being the foundation of everything you do from a service management perspective. Yet it's so hard to keep up to date with valuable, useful information that you can use across your incident problem change and many other processes that you may be running within your organization. One of the key ways in which we add value to your CMDB is by giving you visibility of the usage of applications or business services. Now, you can use NextThink as the primary data source into your CMDB and take all of the device information that we've seen a little bit of so far, um, or we can be a secondary source. That's probably the more common way in which our customers use this integration. And the key point here is you're getting that visibility of application usage. That gives you a foundation that when you're then looking at major incidents or problems or your change processes, you have an accurate and up-to-date understanding of who is using which applications across your organization. What does that mean for you? Well, firstly, it allows you to improve both your impact analysis for major incidents and problems, as well as your risk analysis as part of your change management uh, processes. So you can view users and devices consuming a service, as you can see in the screenshot. We'll see that in the product uh, in, in a moment. Secondly, we also integrate with the event management module inside ServiceNow as well. So if you're using event management, you're taking feeds from some of your network operator, network monitoring or application monitoring systems, NextThink can provide that lens of user experience into the event management module inside service now and now start to give you a more holistic and complete picture of where there are potentially issues across your environment, how is the user experience being impacted. So the important piece here, absolutely the user experience lens coming into the event management module inside service now, giving you the ability to better manage major event outages that you may experience across your organization. And then th thirdly, we also integrate with the ServiceNow virtual agent or chatbot. And what we uh, add to the, the chatbot technology is the ability to be able to, rather than just providing links to knowledge base articles, now enable a user to be able to self-help and uh, also self-heal. And again, we'll see this in the product demonstration in a moment, the ability to bring up real-time information from NextThink inside the ServiceNow virtual agent and enable the user to make an informed decision to potentially resolve the issue they may be having themselves. This again, you know, we, we mentioned earlier about changing the conversation. This is about changing the game from an IT perspective, putting more visibility in the hands of your support teams, and more capability in the hands of your end users. So we've just talked about CMDB, event management, uh, and chatbot integration. Rod, could you take us through those in the in the product? Absolutely, please? absolutely, Rich. So right, so if we go back to uh, to my um, uh, next think environment, actually my service now environment. What I'm going to do, I'll just come back out of that that incident. Oh, I'm not going to save that for the time being. And so the first piece that Rich spoke about was our ability to enrich the CMDB type information that we have within, within ServiceNow. 
And so what we're really doing here, again, another real-time look, uh, look up. You know, I've got my SAP service down here. If I drill into that SAP, we, we, can, we can see down here, straight away, it's done, it's done that look up. And what we can see is literally all the different types of users who are actually consuming that service. If we scroll down a little bit further, we can see also exactly what devices is accessing that service to. So in terms of change management, if you want to understand you know, how many people are going to be impacted by a specific change, how many people are really accessing a business service, this is great information for you. And so, um, you know, it helps from change management. If you're doing application portfolio management, again, it's also allowing you to understand exactly how many people are actually consuming these services and, and who is really using them as opposed to who is just, you know, who has it on their desktop, only access it once every, once every three months. Furthermore, I can then drill down into an individual and it cuts the other way as well. So I can go into an individual and then I can see what services this individual is consuming too. And so, you know, you can start by going to a business service and understand who's, who's accessing that business service, or you can go in, in, going into an individual and then understand what services that, that end user is consuming. So that's the, that's the first piece I wanted to show you. The next piece that we have is in terms of the, uh, in terms of event management integration. And so again, you know, we can power some dashboards, and this is just a little dashboard that we've, we've very simply set up here, you know, about how many incidents have been, been, been resolved through, uh, through help, with the help of Nextlink, but also down here, how many, how many alerts that have been generated through a direct feed from Nextlink into ServiceNow's event management module. And again, if I, if I duck into uh, one of these incidents, uh, what I can then do, I can go and see exactly what incidents I'm sorry, what, what uh, alarms and alerts have been generated against this in individual device. And so literally taking the information that Nextlink is finding about that end user device, feeding it into ServiceNow, doing the aggregation, the correlation of those, and potentially, you know, taking what could be a, an, event, an event storm and translating it down into maybe one or two incidents to, to make, you know, to help your incident management process. So that was just another nice little piece of, piece of in integration. The last piece of integration I want to show you um, with, uh, uh, with Nextlink and, and, uh, and ServiceNow is the virtual agent capability. And so again, I, um, I think you might be familiar with this screen. This, so this is the out of the box um, um, uh, uh, service, service management portal. Actually, wait, I haven't gone into that. Let's just change that. There we go. Go into, uh, go into the, uh, the, uh, the standard portal. And again, so what I can now do, I've logged in here as a chap called George Smith. Let's open up the, uh, the virtual agent and then say, again, similar type of conversation that we had previously, uh, my PC, and straight away it's come back, and I was going to say is running slow, and already it's asked, do you want to perform a health check on your PC? And so, okay, let's do a health check on it. So here we go. So this is the chat bot integrating with next thing to pull back information, exactly what's going on on this end user's device. So again, we can scroll up here and we can see, actually, it's running short of uh, uh, disk space. And it's asking me if I want to fix it. Actually, for this, for this particular instance, I'm going to say no. Because what I'm then going to do is I'm going to ask it to actually fix this, fix this for me and fix any other issues it, it, it might be finding. So once again, I'm going to come into here and say, uh, uh, my PC. Uh, and there again, so this, this time my PC is running slow, it's already down there, I'm going to click onto that one. And so again, logging into next thing, pulling back the relevant information around this end user's device. And so again, okay, it's found three issues on there. So the first one, my disk is, is, uh, is almost full. So again, do you want me to do a, do a, a disk cleanup? I'm going to say yes. So it's just going to go away. And what it's actually doing in the background is running, running one of those remote actions that we saw that the, uh, the instant analyst had the, had the ability to actually kick off. Um, so again, it's done that. Do you want to upgrade Windows? And say, so yes, we can do that. So again, it's going to go off and it's going to start potentially kicking off that, that process. And the final part of this one, what we're going to see now is when we do this, 
it's going to raise an instant in the background and we'll see that a brand new instant will pop up behind here so i'm going to say uh, do you want to remove uh, things from the, the computer startup i'm going to say yes obviously having a having a long uh, startup time this must be an issue for, for john's machine as well and again it's just doing this we'll see the instant pop up on the screen behind okay It'll pop up here in a second. We see it. We see that the uh, the, the, the instance that had, has has now been created, and so fundamentally, what we've done there is, as opposed to the scenario I showed you previously, whereby it was getting information from Nextlink and enriching an incident to allow an analyst to then you know you know maybe uh, do some automated remediations using our remote actions. What we've done here, of course, is we put it all in the hands of the end user. No analyst has been involved in this process and so literally what it all comes down to is working out what's what's wrong with that end user's device giving them options to do self remediation on there and allowing them to uh, allowing them to sort of click on the various buttons down here to actually cre create those those remediations and so literally no analyst involvement all completely driven by self service and automation with a service now and next thing integration okay